Well, this week I got to go to see this movie, Ford versus Ferrari. And uh, I'll tell you what, when I saw the trailers uh, for this film, I kind of, there was this feeling of like, man, there's something familiar about this. And it just seemed very intriguing to me. Well, um, these past eight years or so, you know, I've been so consumed with comic book films, Star Wars films, and other blockbuster franchises that uh, I found myself feeling nostalgic uh, during that trailer. And I realized why uh, when I went and saw it. So Ford versus Ferrari, let me just tell you, this is a great family movie that recounts a period in uh, car manufacturing history where good old-fashioned business competition ends up creating some incredible ingenuity uh, and specifically for the car making industry. Um, here's some uh, quick uh, bullet point review items. Um, this thing, this movie has a great story about friendship. I love the friendship between the uh, main two characters, Carol Shelby, uh, portrayed by uh, Matt Damon, and Ken Miles, portrayed by Christian Bale. They both did fantastic. They were both great in the roles. Um, I love seeing that friendship develop. Uh, great story on the importance of family through the portrayal um, of Ken. And uh, the father-son bonding was was a huge plus. Uh, there's also a, uh, a great scene in this film uh, that I just found, I thought it was really compelling, uh, between Ken and his wife, between um, Christian Bale and... Um, oh, her name. Her name is... I've never heard of her. Catriona... I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but her character's name or the lady was uh, Molly Miles. So uh, I love this, uh, the dynamic between their, uh, between them. So Molly, uh, she pushes Ken to tell her the truth because in the, in the earlier in the film, you find out that he's kind of been hiding some things about their financial situation and whatnot. And, um, you know, they get a lot of things taken from them because he, he just has this inability as a as a human being, an inability to just be a salesperson, right? He's just constantly, he just is up front and tells the truth. He's a car driver, uh, race car driver who runs a shop. And, you know, when you're running a shop, you have to have some, <laughs> some tact in uh, generating sales and uh, customers. So uh, anyways, uh, so they lost their business. Um and he was hiding their financial situation. So there's a point in the film where, you know, she she has lost a lot of trust in him uh, regarding that situation. Well, at the, at the time that Ken is is negotiating and talking with um, Matt Damon's character, uh, she sees it, and but he's not being upfront with her, and so she challenges him. And as husbands, sometimes we make these decisions to hide things from our wives uh, to protect them, when in reality. Uh, this only causes some incredible tension that isn't necessary. So when he finally tells her it's crazy, but they stay together. And uh, it goes against the grain that you see a lot of times in in movies these days. I, I you know, just one of the things I I miss from from movies and films is this uh, this dynamic of between a husband and wife where they actually stay together. You know, they actually work through their problems, their trials. And, uh, and they actually come out better on the other end of it, uh, on the other side of the fire. Um, I just really enjoyed that aspect. I thought it was great. Um, so there's a huge moment at the end of the film where Ken has this fork in the road, a path set before him. And he can either pursue his personal goals uh, or he has a choice. He can help his friend, Shelby, who has continually put his neck on the line for him. Um, and he makes and he makes a decision, and I loved seeing this uh, right up to the end. I just loved uh, seeing the dynamic between these two guys as friends. Um, they're so different, but yet there's still that similarity because they're both dealing with their place uh, in their life and 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 who they are in in their identity and that kind of thing. It's just things we all struggle with as human beings, uh, as people. We struggle with uh, wrapping ourselves up in identifying ourselves in what we do versus who we are, who we've been created to, uh, to be. So uh, in, in our relationship with our creator and that kind of thing. So overall, let me just say, uh, I, I'm trying to not be spoilered, uh, spoilerish in this film uh, review, um, but I want to just communicate that this is a, a fantastic family film with great performances, 
the races were so good visually um it's amazing what they can do with technology these these days uh bringing various angles to the race that man it just looked so good on screen and by the way i saw this on imax and it was incredible both the sound and the visual of that giant screen uh i mean you felt the engines rumbling it was so good uh so i encourage you guys Check it out. You know, uh, I think I mentioned on Twitter, I, I just made a statement. I said, husbands, take your wives. Um, and uh, fathers, take your kids. Dads of sons, take your sons. There's a great dynamic between him and his son. Uh, Ken and his son is so good. Just a really good feeling movie. So go see it. And uh, if you go see it and you want to comment on it, I'd love to see your comments. But trying to be very, like I said, trying to be spoiler free as much as I can uh, while just letting you know that I really love this film. I think it's great. And I think Hollywood needs to make more of this stuff. Um, and I'd love to see more people support this. Anyway, go check it out. Thanks for listening. Uh, be sure to hit like on this and drop a comment. And uh, yeah, thanks, guys. See ya. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment and give it a thumbs up and maybe consider following the Kansas Geek Man channel. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter over at KS Geek Man.